Okay, uh, we're back, and we are going to, you need to check to see if your node is reporting to All-Star. So to do this, uh, go to allstarlink.org, log into your account, network, go to network, all online nodes, uh, and, the t and hit control F on the keyboard. It'll open a little white window, put your call sign in. And there we are, 42445. So it's online and it's seeing it. That's a good thing. Okay, uh, there's a couple, there's a bunch of things we need to change in here. Um, now, if you hit the PTT on, your, on the uh, radio you're using to talk into your node with and you get a tone back, that's a good thing. Okay, so let's go to, uh, we need to be in WinSCP. Okay, you should be still in your asterisk uh, directory. Um, so we need to go to rpt.conf, open rpt.conf, scroll all the way down. We're going all the way down. We need to change some things in here to get Supermon up and running and get communications to work. Uh, so you'll see right here your IP address. We need to change that to your local IP. Okay, and this one I leave alone, except I do put my node, I change it to my node number, 42445. It would be your node number, obviously. That's a loopback, it's called. And we are going to put in a public IP. Uh, sorry about the popping on the microphone. A public IP, uh, and I usually put this in. This, it can really be put in anywhere, so let's do 42445. You'll need this out of your router. Equals. Make sure you put a space, equals, space, radio, at, and I'm going to have to look at the router because I can't remember the public IP. So, let's look at this. Stand by just for a moment. Okay. Um. Uh, Two four zero two four eight dot nine. Okay, you want to remember the port you opened in the router. Uh, mine's port eighty two, so we need to do a colon, not semicolon, colon eighty two forward slash node number, comma none all caps. Okay, that's done. Uh, you can go ahead and hit save, and we will get out of that. Okay, now we're while we're in here, we're going to make a change to manager. So we need to go to manager.conf. Um, RPTConf was right here, so we need to go to manager.conf. Go ahead and open that. And let me get it within the window here so you can see it. Okay, down at the bottom, this is for Almon. So if you go down to the bottom, you'll have admin secret equals you need to put a new password in so choose a password write it down you're gonna need it a couple times in here and this will give you all mon access don't touch anything else in here so I'm gonna move it off screen put the password in okay hit uh, save in the top left corner and close now you should restart after this but uh, don't bother uh, I never do, and it just works. Okay, we are going to back up. So we're going to back up. Let's back up two. Uh, back up one to right here, ETC, in this folder. Uh, ETC. I'm going to get the microphone away from my mouth. We're going to go to HTTPD folder. Go ahead and open this. Conf. Open that in the dot com folder open that okay we're gonna scroll down a little ways here and you wanna find this it's uncommented out it says listen 80 we're gonna add a line in there put listen 82 okay remember the port that you opened in the router we need to put that in there save exit 
we're going to back all the way up. All the way out. Back to root. Okay, we are going to scroll down to SRV. Go to SRV, HTTP, and Supermon. Now we need to make an, an edit to the Allmon INI file. Once that's open, at the very top, put in your node number, leave the brackets, 42445, and look down here, about three lines down, you'll see the password. Uh, it has WA3DSP in it. We're going to remove that. We're going to put the password we put in the manager.conf file. Hopefully you wrote it down. You remember. Uh, I'm going to move off screen and do that. Uh, hit save, top left corner, and exit out. Okay. Okay, we're done with SCP. Now, uh, if you're not, if you don't, if you close Putty, you need to relaunch it. Log into your Pi, and we're going to go down to the Bash Shell interface, Selection Nine. Select that. It's going to launch the Bash Shell, and now we have to input, create a password for Supermon to work. So, I'm actually going to pull up the instruction set so I don't make any mistakes. And so I can make, okay, we got to navigate to the directory. Okay, so first we got to get there. So put in cd space forward slash srv space http, not, I'm sorry, not space, these are all forward slashes. cd space forward slash srv forward slash http forward slash supermon. Hit enter. Okay, you're in there. If that's what you see, you're at the directory. Now we need to create the password. So this is what you need to put in here exactly. So we're going to do HTPASSWD space dash small c capital B space dot HTPASSWD space admin hit enter oh I made a mistake okay uh, let's try this again ht uh, uh, standby okay Let's try this again. If that ever happens to you and you can't get out, just just uh, close it and relaunch it and go back to Bash Shell. Okay, directory, here we go. CD space forward slash SRV forward slash HTTP forward slash Superman. I need to be typing in the screen. Oh, my God. <laughs> Good Lord space forward slash SRV forward slash I'm getting tired as you can tell uh, Superman once that's in hit enter you're there okay now we need the script to run f to create the password HT P A S S W D space dash small c capital B space dot h t p a s s w d space admin enter it'll prompt you for the new password that's what you want to see so put your password in hit enter and it's going to ask you to retype it okay adding password if you see that you're done hit exit okay now open your browser. Okay, bring the browser in here. Now open your browser and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put in your IP address with this script at the end of it. Forward slash Superman forward slash link dot PHP question mark nodes equals your node number. Um, and hit enter and this screen should pop up. To log in 
it's admin, log into it, hit admin, and then the password we just put in. Okay? Log in, and there it is. You're going. Now, to get to the public Almon, um, you need to go, uh, and this would be accessible via cell phone or anything else. Your cell phone, uh, remote computer, and anything outside of your local area network. Uh, 660, put in your public IP. Remember the one we plugged into rpt.com. Call in your node number with this script. Uh, hit enter. Login credentials will be exactly the same. That'll give you remote access to control your system. Okay, uh, lastly, uh, LS nodes. So if you want to access LS nodes to do DTMF commands, which we'll get into later in the next video, um, put this script, your IP address in with this script right here. Um, with your node number, of course, not mine and hit enter. This is inside your local area network on your local LAN and uh, you'll come up with this page right here. This function right here allows you to basically DTMF command uh, control your system using DTMF commands. Um, I use it extensively for controlling the node in the sense that I shut the radio down, I disable telemetry, you can do all kinds of things with it and I'll get into that in the next video. Okay, uh, we'll be back with part three. Uh, thanks for watching.